Hello everyone, I'm Coco Sherelle and this is my channel Blingonaire. In this video, I will be showing you all how I pearl dazzled these converters for my customer. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you for clicking on this video and hopefully you like what you see and hit that like and subscribe button to be part of the Bling family. To my return of viewers and Bling family, it's always a pleasure to have you tuned in. Now y'all don't forget to hit that like button also. That enables my video to get more views from people like yourself. So if you would like to see how I design these sneakers, keep watching. I have both sneakers side by side for comparison. My customer requested a navy blue Converse size eight and a half women. As you see, I already started and completed the painting on the other sneaker. I'll leave a link in my description section to my video showing how I paint my Converses. Now the reason I paint them is because I like my base to match my crystals as much as possible. This gives a flawless finish. I'll be using white diamond crystals in those areas. And if I had not painted it, all the navy blue from the sneaker will peek through the white diamond crystals and we don't want that. Now you can use any fabric paint, but I use the Tulip brand and the matte finish. Okay guys, let's get started. So all materials, or at least something similar, will be listed in the description box below. And as always, my process time will be sped up. My Converse is stand out because I use several size Swarovski and glass crystals starting from stone size 2 through stone size 30 to create this beautiful clustered look. Doing it this way is more time consuming but the outcome is amazing. I love adding the rhinestone chain. It just brings a little bit more glam to the sneakers. I get the bulk of my crystals from Harman Imports. They have a large selection of Swarovski and Starbright. Starbright is their glass collection, top grade. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I just love ordering from them.
I know I don't really show it here in the video, but to get my crystals to really set in the hair, I take a small flat object and I push down on the crystals to get it to seep into the glue. Okay guys, now that all the bling is done, it's time to pearl dazzle. Right here, I'm making sure that the sneaker is completely stuffed and expanded so that the half pearls have a flat surface to adhere to. This is very important. These half pearls range from 3mm to 9mm. And don't forget, all items will be listed in the description box below. I always use a generous amount of glue, but please remember when using E6000 to be in a well ventilated area. Window open, fan on, mask on. This glue stinks and it is toxic. Adding the half pearls is like a fun game of Tetris, but here you really can't go wrong. As long as you have several sizes of the half pearls, this is the only way you can master the cluster effect. The only straight pattern I did was along the bottom and the back of the sneaker.
Well, guys, here you have it, the finished look. What do you guys think? Because I, I'm really impressed with the way these came out. Like, these are amazing. Oh my gosh, I love them. I sent my customer a photo and she is in love. It's always a rewarding feeling to know that my customer really loves their sneaker and their purchase. It makes this time consuming job so well worth it. These are literally wearable art. Guys, let me know how y'all feel about these sneakers. Would y'all wear them? And what colors would you choose? Thank you so much guys for tuning in today and watching this video if you like what you saw please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and become part of the blink family and share with your friends and your family until next time have a blessed day bye